Hi guys! I thought today I would do a little bit of a different video and do a haul slash review slash what I would recommend slash not recommend. Um, so let's jump right on into it. Oh, and also I'll be giving the breakdowns of the prices and what I paid for them so that you can compare what I paid versus what they might be right now since I did get a lot of this stuff on sale. Alright, I guess we can just start off with the shirt I'm wearing right now. This is a light pink um, oversized a little bit sweater with the drop shoulder. Um, I got this while I was in Montreal with my boyfriend. Um, I got it from Simon. I think that's the name of it. Sino? Simo? Something like that. I paid, I want to say 32 CAD for this. I don't have the receipt so I can't really tell you exactly how much I paid for it. 100% would recommend. It's very lightweight but so, still substantial. So it's not gonna keep you super warm, but it's not gonna like freeze you out either. And the brand for this from Simon, Simon's kind of like a big retailer, kind of like Nordstrom where they carry a whole bunch of different items or like different brands. So this is from a brand called Twik, T-W-I-K. I got this in a size small slash petite. The second item I got from Simon, Simon was these. These are also from Twik as well. Um, they're just some cargo short types. I really like these because they fit a little bit looser, um, but not too baggy, and I got these in a size 5. I noticed that these, the sizing on these are really weird. I had to go up two sizes just to be safe, but yeah, I usually am a size 0 or a 2 or a 1 area. I'm a 25 waist, so yeah, and I think I paid 22 for these in Canadian dollars. I got a lot of shorts in case you can't tell. Um, the next item I got was these. These are some Hollister shorts. I just needed some quick, easy, short shorts, um, just running around and doing a lot of things for my dad and stuff like that, like if I need to go outside and help him with the yard work or something like that, just throw these on. And I got these for $12.99 on clearance. And I got these in a size 1, waist 25. The next item I got was these old navy boyfriend shorts they're just white they're kind of they're more denim than chino style so um the fabric is pretty substantial you can't really see through them which is what i like i noticed that a lot of the shorts i've been seeing lately have been kind of see-through so that's kind of annoying and i paid i think 29 dollars for these so somewhere in that price range these were not on sale when i bought them but i still just needed a really nice white pair they kind of hit a little bit mid-rise um, and I got a size zero regular. And then also from Old Navy, I kind of went a little crazy at Old Navy with shorts, so bless me. I got these green chinos. They're kind of like a khaki material and they're very, very nice and stiff. So that's kind of what I like in my khaki shorts. And I also got these in a size zero and they're officially called the pixie style. So, so I got these. The next few pair are going to be the same. So I got all of these for $12.97. So I got the pair in black as well. The only difference between this one and this one is that this one has the slide opening. So it's more of the little like, whatever that's called, clasp. Whereas this one's an actual button. And then finally I got ones, um, these are another pair of white ones, but they're the chinos. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so I plan to wear them a little rolled instead of like as long as they are because they're a little too long for my short legs. Um, I also got a size 0 in these. I don't know what the rise was on these, or the length. I think these are the longer option, so in case you're wondering. And then from Poshmark, I got a few things from Poshmark recently. I kind of went on a little craze with them, so oops. I bought these Madewell white shorts. Um, they're rolled at the end, have a little bit of fraying if you unroll them. However, I will say that these fit pretty small. Um, I tend to like my shorts a little bit baggier in the thighs, especially. I don't. I want them tight in the waist, but baggy in the thighs. And these are a little too tight in my butt and thighs area, so they kind of like do that unflattering creasing and stuff like that, so I don't really enjoy that. Um, and I got them in my normal size of a size 25, um, and I also paid $20 for these, so I would recommend sizing up in these. The second pair of shorts I got from Poshmark are these Paige Jimmy Jimmies, and they're kind of cut off. Um, I'm gonna probably wear them rolled as well, pr 
probably just roll them up or something like that like that um, I like them rolled better because they're a little long again on my little tiny stubby legs <laughs> I actually got these in a size 24 and I find with Paige I have to size down so that might help you a little bit um, and these fit perfectly fine they don't they aren't too tight in the thighs or anything like that which is my usual problem area and I paid $20 for these the next pair I got are also from Madewell but these ones are just regular denim shorts um, they're rolled you can unroll them if you'd like but they are pretty long so I tend to roll them um, and I got these in a size 25 like my usual however these fit perfectly so I think it's just the colored shorts that fit a little bit small so if you get a pair of colored Madewell shorts, I would size up. Um, and I paid $25 for these. So going on with the bottoms trend, because I'm kind of going based on like shorts, bot or shorts, jeans, and then going to tops. So it's not going to be specifically like in brand order or by shop order. So the next thing I got were these um, Big Star um, Alex Crop Super Skinny or Mid Rise Skinny Jeans. Um, it's actually cropped on me, so I don't can't imagine what it would be like on someone who's actually tall because <laughs> Amber is 5'2 so she has no hope of growing. Um, these were originally $78 and I got them off of Nordstrom Rack for $34.97 so it was a really good deal. Um, I got my usual size, size 25. I remember when I was younger Big Star was a big thing you know like in Buckle and I would always have to size down because they were always so big. But now I'm finding that they're starting to get more normal sizing and they're sizing um, comparable to other brands. So I got my usual. Also, I would highly recommend almost all of these. Um, the Big Star jeans especially are fitting really well. I have another pair that I can't show you right now, but they are called the Alex Midrise Ankle Skinny Jean and it's in the color Junipero. Um, I also got those in a 25 and they were $49.97. I would recommend those to no end. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to wear the dark denim though because I'm not really a dark denim person. But yeah, I would highly, highly recommend Big Star's denim right now. They are very, very good. Oops. <laughs> These ones are inside out. So the next pair I got was from Big Star again. Um, these are their Alex Midrise Skinnies in white. Um, and these were originally $108 and I got them for $49.97 as well. Um, again, I would highly recommend these. The only thing I was disappointed in with these was I expected them to be a little bit higher in rise. I really wanted them to hit me more above the hip, which I know would probably be a high rise, but I was really hoping that they would maybe, that they would maybe be a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, that's my only little gripe about most of these big star ones is that they're not high rise, which I prefer, but I mean, I did buy a mid rise, so what, what can you expect, Amber? And my final Nordstrom Rack purchase was these Free People Peyton High Rise Skinny Jeans. Um, they have a button fly, um, and they're a really, really lovely color. Like, I really adore the color. Um, I got my normal size, a size 25. I paid $34.97 for these. I don't remember the original price of these, but Free People usually runs around like $100, so I'm going to assume they're somewhere around there. Um, these fit perfectly. The only thing I'll say about these, though, is because they're kind of elasticy, like elasticated around like the hips and bum and stuff like that, just to like make it suck you in more. They do tend to stretch out on me, and so they're kind of annoying sometimes when you're like wearing them and you're walking around, and then the crotch starts to kind of like sag a little. But I'll see how they go with washes. And then this one I bought from Hollister for $25. I bought them online. Um, I didn't order in store and ship to my house. Um, however, I got these in a 25 and usually Hollister jeans are weird on me and I can never fit the right sizing. So I'm usually like a size 25 waist, but then my thighs are more like a size three. So it doesn't really ever work out for me, but um, I got the high rise super skinnies because one of my friends was telling me the high rise fit a little bit better so I got a pair and they fit and I really like the color on when you're wearing them they're really flattering but they do stretch out a lot in the crotch and I'm not a fan of that and these are super skinnies not jeggings so I expected them to kind of hold their shape more I know my Abercrombie my Abercrombie high-rise super skinnies 
they tend to like hold their shape and not fall apart or like stretch out or whatever. I've had them for like six years now or more, probably more like eight. I've had them since I was in high school and like still going strong with them. So that's the only gripe I really have. Would I recommend these? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of these, so buy them at your own risk. All right. Whew, getting tired. All right, so the next thing I have to show you guys is going to be tops. All right, the next item I have to show you guys is gonna be a top. This one is from Hollister. It's a sweater and it has these little lace patches on the shoulders. And then it also kind of goes into a little bit of a peplum at the bottom. This is really flattering on. It's a size extra small, which usually I can't get away with because I do have big shoulders. A lot of times I have to go to a medium or a small for shoulder space, but this one fits me fine in the shoulders. The only thing is it's a little bit cropped and I'm not a big fan of cropped, so I'm gonna have to definitely wear it with high rise jeans. But yeah, I think I'll get some use out of it and really enjoy it. I really love the lace sleeves. And also it's kind of like this grayish green color. It's not really picking up on camera, but it's like a green gray instead of just like a gray. So I kind of like the difference in the color there. So, oh, and I got this on clearance for, I think I got it for, wait, it was on sale for $9.99. So, all right, the next item I got was from Hollister. It's this plain guys button down stripey top. I don't know if the stripes are picking up on camera. Um, but yeah, it just has the simple little logo on the pocket, which I don't really care about too much. Kind of don't want it there, but that's fine. This is so flattering though on me because I do have really big shoulders. And so when I wear this top, girls, I have to go up to like a large or a medium just for shoulder space because they make them so small. But this one like drapes on my body so nicely and it's like a little oversized so then it fits perfectly. Um, I got this in a guy's small and I paid $19.95 for this, so, or $19.97. Alright, so the next items I got from Hollister were these two, um, what are they called, peplum cami tops. And so I got one in pink, go ahead and let it move me, and I got one in black as well. Um, when I was originally going to buy these, they were two for 20 but then they ended up just going down to $10 each, I think, so still got the deal, but yeah. I've already worn the pink one, and I love it. Um, I got the black one, and I haven't worn it yet, but I'm sure I will, because... I love the pink one so much. I like to wear the pink one with my green military jacket. All right, and again, the next one I got from Poshmark. This is the only shirt I've purchased off of Poshmark because I find that it's really like, I don't know, I don't really like buying shirts off of Poshmark. I'd rather just either find them at thrift stores or something like that. But this one I just couldn't turn away. It's kind of a chiffon shirt. It has black polka dots or like a dark brown. No, they're black. And it's a cream color. It has like, <laughs> You know the shoulder padding? It has shoulder padding, but like right here. I don't know, it's really weird. It's from American Apparel, a size small, and it has a little drawstring at the front as well, and it's a full button down, so I love wearing these shirts with skirts and stuff in the summer, so I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it. All right, so going back to Old Navy, we have a lace-up. I'm really into lace-up right now, by the way. Lace-up and crossy stuff, I'm all about that. So I got this lace-up um, throw-over type shirt it looks very formal, but then when you throw it on, it's so casual, so I'm still trying to figure out how to style this completely. I wore it to get my hair done the other day, and I kind of just threw on some, it was raining, so I threw on my black um, leggings, and I also threw on my black hunter boots, and it looked really cute, but I'm trying to find a way to style it. I really want to wear it with white shorts in the summer, so that's probably what I'll do. Next item that I got from Old Navy was just this stripey. <laughs> tea. I'm obsessed with stripes in case you can't tell. Um, but yeah, I thought this one was really cool. I really liked the um, blue and navy, or the, the blue and navy, amber, come on. The blue and red um, stripes. It's really like Americana, but kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this. Oh, and I didn't even say what size I got these in. I got both of these in a small, and they're both a little bit oversized for me, so I kind of like my shirts a little bit looser, so it works perfectly. Oh yeah, and I just realized I didn't even tell you how much these were. So the stripey top was, um, I think it was around like 10 or $15, not very expensive. And then this one was also on sale, which was weird because it wasn't marked as a sale. 
but I think I got it for like 20 25 or something like that so good deal adjust myself <laughs> all of the next items or until the end is gonna be all from Shein now I know a lot of people there's like a lot of controversy with this but like I just really like them because Everything I've bought from them has been really good quality, and it's stuff that I wear a lot, so you really get your money's worth for it, so my two cents. Alright, now that I've pulled up the receipt for this. Alright, so the first item I got from Shein was this grid pattern. Um, oh my god, Amber. Can't even hold it up. Alright, so I got this grid patterned shirt. It doesn't really, um, it has buttons, but they're very different from what I'm used to so they kind of have like this little circle pattern on them um this shirt is really loose and flowy which I enjoy it's not a it's a very like sturdy material it's very nice um I'll get to the other item in a second but it's the other item is a little like stiff and like not very nice material but this one is very very flowy and enjoyable um and I got this for ten dollars in a one size so one size fits all not this is the shirt I was just mentioning. It's a black and white stripey top. Um, it looks really cute on, but the material is very like, the only way I can describe it is like, have you guys ever used a tea towel? Like the tea towels? It's the tea towel muslin material. Muslin, I think that's the material. Um, I got this in a size medium. I paid $15 for it. Um, I don't know, the quality, like, I'll probably wear it a lot so it'll be worth it, but if you don't like that like stiff material, I would not recommend this. Alright, so the next two I'm just going to do together because I kind of got them together and they're the same exact shirt, just different colors. Because Amber can't just go with one color. She needs both colors. So this one is just a stripey, navy, long sleeve shirt. It is really good quality. This is almost like the kind of quality you'd get at Gap. And I only paid $10 for this. And I got it in a small. And then I got the same shirt but in gray and this one was eight dollars all right the next two are going to be really hard to show because i don't <laughs> i'm not trying them on yet but they're crisscrossy they have like this crisscross that goes in the front and the back and this one's really like loose and flowy and like kind of off the shoulder and this one was ten dollars and i got it an extra small because i read online that it was very big and it but yeah, I would highly recommend this. This is really good quality as well. And then the final item that I have to show you is it has a very low back and then the front has the cross, the daisy neck. Um, this one's really nice and it's a very thick, very like soft material. And I paid $10 for this and I got this in a medium because everyone was saying online that it was a little bit small. So went on the side of caution. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed my haul. Um, let me know in the comments section which one was your favorite item that I got or if you have any recommendations because homegirl loves stripes and homegirl loves shopping. I'm starting to get really into this pink color too, so if you have any recommendations of beautiful pink things, let me know. Amber will probably swoop in there and probably buy it. And give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. I'm gonna try and do them more, so yeah. Bye!